In this video, I'm going to be making Lotus Biscoff Caramel Corn. If this recipe sounds a little bit familiar to you, then it is. We, um, I actually made this uh, recipe. It is from the October 1981 edition of Southern Living Magazine, and I made it, and it was the best caramel corn Kevin and I have ever tried. Um, it's absolutely terrific. Um, I just, I'm going to do things a little bit different this time um, to make things easier for me. Uh, so the recipe is going to be the same basic recipe, but this time we're going to be adding Lotus Biscoff uh, biscuits to this. And the reason we're doing this is because Maria sent us this Let's Popcorn uh, with Caramel Biscuits. These, uh, she sent us these from Germany. And this, this popcorn tastes just like it was coated with Biscoff cookie powder. It, it's absolutely terrific. So I'm wondering, hey, can I do that at home? Um, and, and, you know, if this works, then this will just tell you if you can do um, other cookies. Of course, I wouldn't think you would want to use any with cream in the middle. So if you're thinking maybe Nutter Butters have peanut butter in the middle, or if you're thinking an Oreo, Oreo has cream in the middle, I would try to choose something with just the, the cookie and not the cream. However, you, it might work with the cream too. I don't know. We're going to see if it works. I'm going to try it and we're going to see. So we're going to need the basic recipe is going to be exactly the same as the video you watched before uh so you're going to need three quarts of freshly popped popcorn that's basically a bag a bag of microwave popcorn you need a half a cup of chopped pecans half a cup of butter or margarine which that is a, a stick of butter you need uh, one cup of firmly packed brown sugar, a fourth cup of light corn syrup. It's in there, believe me. It's K -Ro, light K Ro syrup. You need half a teaspoon of salt and a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. You need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And since I'm winging it, I will probably try to crush up half the package of cookies and we'll see how much powder that makes. I don't know. I don't want to use too much, but I don't want to use too little, so I don't know. I'm just kind of winging that, so when we get to that part, I'm just going to see what it looks like when it's crushed. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my popcorn in the microwave, and I'm going to go ahead and melt my stick of butter in the microwave, and um, then um, I'll be back. So in a saucepan over medium heat, I'm going to take my melted butter, and if you if you watch the last video, we actually melted our butter in the pan, and um, I had to wait for the butter to melt, but I'm an impatient person, so as soon as my popcorn came out of the microwave, I stuck the butter in and melted my butter in here. I mean, why not, right? So, you want to take your butter and your brown sugar your corn syrup and salt so stir this together and bring this to a boil when it comes to a boil set a timer for five minutes and do not touch it do not stir it do not do anything to it let it boil for five minutes while I'm waiting for this to start boiling, I'm going to crush my Lotus Biscoff cookies. I put my Lotus Biscoff cookies in a Ziploc bag and I did not use half the package. I used a little less than half the package. Uh, but I'm gonna take a rolling pin and break this up as finely as I can get it. Now, you could use a food processor, so if you wanna get your food processor out, you can absolutely do it that way too. I'm wondering if I shouldn't measure this out so you all can tell about how much that is. Let's see. I've got a cup out. We'll see how much because I know, I know people like, like measurements. So it 
it's just a little less than half a cup. Oh, I mean, than a cup. Uh, so if you use as much of the package as I did, then it, it's going to be almost a cup. This has been boiling for five minutes. So you want to add your vanilla and your soda and stir this. And then also I'm going to add my pecans. Now during our last recipe, uh, the, what they wanted you to do in your original, uh, when we did the video before, was they wanted you to go ahead and have your pecans added to your popcorn. And all the, the pecans dropped to the bottom. Um, so to me, I said, next time I try it, I'm gonna add my pecans now. Well, I'm also gonna add the Biscoff. And so, uh, we're gonna find out this this it might be way too much This is an experiment. We're trying this out You know it, I, it might have only needed a fourth uh, a fourth cup of Biscoff. So now we're gonna add all this to our popcorn A jelly roll pan um, and I have parchment paper over it. you definitely want to put parchment paper over it because uh, it, it's, it will stick to your pan so we're gonna bake this at 300 degrees and I'm trying to break some of these bigger clumps up a little bit. We're gonna bake it at 300 degrees. We're going to, the total baking time is gonna be 30 minutes. We're going to check on it, set a timer for 15 minutes, take it out, flip it all over, and then put it back for an additional 15 minutes and it should be ready to go. The popcorn was in the oven for a total of 30 minutes. Because I um, put so many cookies in it and, and the pecans, it didn't spread out like the liquid didn't spread like it did the last time I made it. So some pieces uh, did not get covered. That's okay with me. Uh, we'll see how good it tastes. I'm gonna leave it right here and let it cool completely. I don't know how long it'll take. It, it might take an hour or whatever, but I'm gonna let it cool completely and then put it in a bowl and then uh, we'll give it a try to see if it worked. So Kevin's home and is gonna try some of this popcorn. Mm -hmm. Now, what Kevin doesn't know is that um, I have been <laughs> indulging in this popcorn all day. I know. It would have been nice of me to have waited until we started this video, wouldn't it? But that's not what happened because I wanted to try it. <laughs> and so I filled this bowl up and I took pictures of the popcorn in the bowl for my thumbnail. And But then there was still a, uh, some left on the, the pan. And I thought, you know, instead of making lunch, <laughs> I'll just finish what's on this parchment paper and that's what I happened that's what I did so um, so I finished what was on the parchment paper but I have also come back and picked and picked and picked and picked I've eaten so much of this popcorn it is unreal I personally well you tell me what you think I like the original recipe better okay because I think it just coats more of the popcorn mm-hmm but if you get the ones that have a lot of that coating on, mm -hmm. and it kind of does remind you of that Let's Popcorn, because it has a gritty, crumbly kind of texture. Um, the popcorn also softened up because it got hot, I guess. Right. Liquid. Do you think it tastes like Biscoff? Um, no, it's really just sweet. I agree. It's delicious. It is good. Um, it's something you want to keep eating, like you said you've done. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm telling you, I've been eating it all day. Anytime I've come in and out of this kitchen, or I've made it a point to come in and out of the kitchen, even when I didn't need to be in the kitchen. You're I made it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at what um, it is. Yeah. So, I think several things. Number one, just, I didn't have to, it, to add the pecans, but I did. 
if you wanted to leave out the pecans completely, you could. Or if you like peanuts more, add peanuts or cashews or whatever. But you don't have to use them at all. Uh, so I could have taken those out and used just the Biscoff cookies instead. Uh, secondly, Kevin's idea when he sat down here right before we turned the camera on, his idea was to do it in a completely different method than what you saw me do it. Of course, in. I've never seen it made either time we've made it. No, so he I doesn't. don't know what it looks like. He's always busy when I do this recipe. <laughs> but what you do basically is you're melting your butter and brown sugar and a couple other little things in this pot and you're letting it boil for five minutes. Once it's boiled for five minutes, then you take it off and at that point, um, you would put it on your popcorn. You would add your pecans and So stir your popcorn's around. just laying on a pan. Your popcorn, I have it in a bowl. I use that big Okay, so your popcorn's rice. just in a big bowl. Uh-huh. And it's popped. Mm-hmm. And then you mix this up, add whatever you want to, and then just pour it over top and you stir it up. You pour it, yeah. And then you pour it onto your pan. Oh. You, you pour see. it onto your, your parchment paper. Okay. And then you bake it. <laughs> what are, uh, are you not understanding? Popcorn's in a bowl. Yep. What do you do with the popcorn? You put you, the popcorn's in the bowl and you take your hot lava mixture, you put your pecans in there, mm -hmm. stir it together, uh -huh. and then pour that hot lava mixture over the popcorn in the Pyrex bowl and you That's stir it That's what I'm You stir it up. Yeah. And then you pour the whole thing on... Onto on the, the parchment paper and, and bake, bake it. it. Yeah. Um, Kevin was thinking that I would I'll, take the cookie crumbles and once you got it on the parchment paper, yeah, where it's liquidy, sprinkle it on top. That's what I would have done. But, but I think that probably would have worked because better. your cookies probably thickened up your it your did. your hot ingredients a, a lot. lot. It did because yeah. it'd be like adding flour to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it would thicken it up. But if it, you kept it liquidy and got it all really well coated, mm -hmm. put it on your pan and then taking your cookie butter crumbs and just sprinkled, or the cookie, the speculoos, whatever, mm -hmm. um, and sprinkled over top of it, then I think it would have just coated them better. Really They're the Lotus Biscoff yeah. cookies. That's, that's the only thing I said to do different is I would add the cookies after you put it on the pan. Mm -hmm. And I think that's smart. Yeah, that way you're getting all the, like there's pieces of popcorn that aren't coated because your mix was really thick. Yes, you're absolutely right. So I do think Kevin's right. I do think that would work out more. But it's still good. A, a lot better. It's delicious. Uh, the piece that I just got tasted, it reminded me of Werther's Original. I've got a few deals on Yeah, it tastes, it, it really would remind you of tasting Werther's Original. Um, yeah, I don't know if the, the cookies had a, a very know. distinct cookie butter flavor or a speculative flavor, but... Still I don't think they did either. I don't think they added that, you know, that traditional Lotus Biscoff cookie. I think the, the caramel itself is so good. And then with mm -hmm. the pecan, it, it, I don't know that it stood out. Right. Uh, but I do think it works. Mm -hmm. And I think like we've done reviews of those Dewey, Dewey's cookies that were really thin. They're round and they're really, really thin cookies. You could try, they have peanut butter, they have lemon, they have all kinds of flavors. So you could potentially, I like Kevin's idea of sprinkling the cookie crumbs on after you've, um, after you've mixed, mixed it. in your, although when you put that in the oven, you don't think that would burn? Huh. You don't? No, because it's going to mix in with all the other liquid. And you're cooking it at such a low temperature, you're baking it at, at 300 degrees. It's a very, very low temperature anyway, but you... Those um, Dewey's cookies would be something there, you know, there's not cream in the middle. And so I think those would work really, really well for this recipe too. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. You've seen us. We, we can't help but pick and pick and pick and pick. Oh, that's the great doll ball. But truth be told, I do like sticking with the original recipe better. Mm -hmm. But I love this idea. <laughs> and um, They did a good job. They yeah, did a good job. Yeah, they did a very good job. Uh, Maria, this is something they need to bring to America mm -hmm. because Americans would be crazy about this. And it, this popcorn had like a, a powdery texture mm -hmm. to it. But it, some of these do too when yeah. you eat them. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you for the idea. I hope you all enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.